And on the other hand, uh, when talking about others, uh, talking to others, there are some uh, distinct features to um, what, like in this case when she just tried to help me all the way into the bitter end of things she never gave up on me um, and when actually helping me it's very much about having me aware of my problems which I don't seem to be which is a very fatal thing how can I improve without actually being aware and she knows that la verite va peut-être faire mal truth may perhaps hurt you it doesn't make it any less necessary and uh, after all these years uh, I haven't tried so hard to make me aware of things and me stubborn old me refusing to accept or realize this instead just uh, being hurt man male pride or something and also uh, I must point out that she's made this very clear I never said that you were useless or worthless uh, because that's a, a very simple thing to yeah your um, uh, low self-esteem you give things up because you believe you're worthless you don't want to try you don't like when things become uh, a bit hard uh, uh, I must admit that she never actually would say that I'm useless only that I have every theoretically possible flaw in the whole world and nothing that I ever did would be okay and this not being worthless it has to do with this avatar the narcissist avatar of me the person that I actually am in reality not the one I'm pretending to be or the one I'm stuck into but actually the real me uh, just waiting to come out and become free and uh, dropping this all shackles that I've uh, put upon myself and this is very funny because Um, in her mythological framework this false me is the one forced upon me 
by my mother how she would want me to be and um, it's interesting because this from her side has always been this uh, nasty evil and uh, selfish person that I act like instead of being the nice and uh, clever and fun real me so it's not easy to satisfy every narcissist